Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue number 37. We start off with Jon Stewart about to quit. He's like, I quit, I'm out. Because he's not too happy with the idea that the Guardians of the Universe have taken over the Green Lantern Corps again. Man, you can't, like, when you abdicate your throne, you can't just walk back and talk about, yeah, I'm going to take it over again. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I I personally wouldn't have allowed it. If I'm Jon Stewart and I'm all the, the, the dudes together, I'm like, yeah, nah. Not going to happen. But, you know, whatever, whatever. They got their, their ugly blue and white uniforms again. I do miss those. But, man, I didn't. I forgot how ugly they were. <laughs> like, Silver Age ugly. Anyway, so um, basically he decides, fine, I'm going to stay. But you guys step out of line and I'm going to be the one to take you down from the inside. That's my John Stewart. Okay, moving on. So there's some kind of a problem in Sector 2811. Turns out that there's a planet that's supposed to be in the Stone Age that seems to be advancing awfully quickly because Zod and his family took over. So these guys legit came directly from Action Comics, came over here, and they're like, you know, okay, so we just left and we're going to start over here again. Of course, Eradicator's following around like a lost puppy. You know, ooh, Kryptonians, I will keep them alive. <laughs> so... Uh, Hal Jordan and um, Kyle Rayner were dispatched out there, and unfortunately, they didn't stand a chance against these cats. So they literally, like, you're looking at it like, dude, if they get hit one more time, if they get, like, a strong wind in their general direction one time, they're dead. They're right teetering on the very edge of life. It's horrible, horrible beating. Just, oh my God, like, it's actually, it's painful to read. That's what I'm saying. Uh, this was a fantastic issue, and I'm going to give it an A-. minus. Um, literally, like, the only thing I could find wrong with this is that I just, I'm of the opinion that a Green Lantern should be able to do a whole lot better against the, uh, the Kryptonians. That's my personal opinion. Granted, I may be a little biased. I, I don't know why you would think that, but, you know. Um, also, yes, I do believe that they should be able to make Kryptonite. <laughs> I, I just don't see how hard it is to put together, granted, Granted, I studied physics, you know, when I was younger, former electrical engineer, but I look at it as why can't you simply come up with the construct for the basic building blocks of making an element? And why wouldn't you? I mean, like, I'm just saying if Batman were a Green Lantern, he would have it on, on point. He would be like, yep, nope, I know the exact molecular components to make kryptonite. Mm -mm, done. <laughs> I, could, I could do it in my sleep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was this was good, man. I really did dig this. Just I, I think they should have, you know, whatever. I'm hoping that there's going to be a chance for Hal and all them to redeem themselves and put a good little bean. I don't want Superman to show up and like he's going to fix it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. All right, guys. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.